Mob Psycho Season 2! There's so much hype around this season. Strange phenomena that science has yet to explain. And in those unfortunate moments when people come face to face with them. A little bit of a My Hero Academia recap here. <laughs> we live in a superhero society, running through these halls of chaos. Psychics. And there are also people who throw salt. They are the most powerful of all. That's how I bought it so cheap. But I never put much stock into that sort of thing. That's where you messed up. Never buy a haunted field. That's just life 101. The very next morning, all my crops had rotted. My what cabbages! <laughs> yes. I've been waiting so long for a chance to say that again. <laughs> I figure if anyone can help me out of this, it's a psychic like you. My advice? Give up on cabbages and found a company. I'm trying to make a living, you know. I need to make sure I'm getting properly compensated for my time. This menu. Wait, I want to read that again. A mere 2,000 yen. All out course. Now that's a bargain. It's pretty much guaranteed that option C contains a salty massage, so it's worth the mere, what is that, $120-ish? I paid more for less. <laughs> if I can get rid of whatever it is that's haunting your fields... You give me 30% of your next harvest, so Ooh, now that's a businessman right there. Getting a percent. No wages for this guy. What do you think, mob? I think it's that demon right over there. For you. Oh, 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 Mob developed a spine in between seasons. Radishes have spirits? My little man. Hmm? Oh, they're radishes. Ugh, it's disappointing. I like radishes too, but they're no cabbages. You're gonna get rid of me, huh? Oh, so you're just gonna expose yourself like that, huh? Uh-huh. Hey, Mob, take care of this, will ya? Sure. <laughs> Bro, that was unbelievably brutal, somehow. <laughs> he ended up with a hat somehow. Wriggle, wriggle. You damn vegetable thief. The way he said that with so much spite. Now you haven't watched season one. Wriggle, wriggle. Psychic power is not where it's at. The power comes from within. When will they learn? All jokes aside, since watching the finale of season one, I've been sort of stunned by how great the central theme of this show is. It's exactly right. And the more I think about it, the more I think it's one of the most pervasive and important things that people experience. It's like one of the biggest, most obvious and most difficult obstacles to progress past as a human being, like false friends of identity, you know, false friends of self value. I may not be a great person, but at least I can get a lot of girls. Yeah, I have all these character flaws, but I make more money than other people and I'm doing something they can't do. I was born in X country or city, unlike these other unfortunate souls who are unlucky enough to be born in Y country or city, you have never cheated on your girlfriend and that means you're an honest person. How can people even feel good about themselves the way I feel good about myself if they don't have these abs? Those things just set you up. You know, they set you up for real damage. You know, it's like damage that comes from blindness. It's wasted time towards actual beauty, which I think really crucially doesn't mean that any of those things, you know, money, athletics, relationships, whatever it is, are bad things to pursue. Everything in life is probably something that will bring utility to someone. The trap is in thinking that that brings utility it doesn't bring. There's a soul quest, for lack of a better word, that is going to be more fund fundamentally important. And those tasks are important not for what they are, but for what they push you to do and the truths they force you to accept as you come against the world. Like the pursuit of money, I think, is a really great pursuit just because it's challenging and because it requires you to learn things and it requires you to be humbled and it probably fosters things like hard work and creativity but the having of money does not add any sort of value or points to your character or to your your self-identity or self-worth ultimately it's fragile that i think goes for every qualifier for me i feel like it's more of the states i cultivate it's the habits i form it's the way I practice conceptualizing things in healthy ways that travels the most distance. The other thing is, you know, even in great success, I find that if I lean too heavily into them as forms of identity, life teaches me a lesson. It hands me my ass and shows me that those things can be stripped from you at any time. And there will be people better than you who can do those things. And also, also, you know in your heart, it doesn't make you a better person. Like, you can only deceive yourself for so long. That's Mob's insight. He's humble. He's looking for answers about who he is. He's not falling for the trap so many of these characters and villains are falling for where they think they're extra special or worthy and not common because of some enhanced skill. And he's not possessing them. He's controlling them like he's got a remote. I've never even thought about that before. Mob's going to a place of strategy. Do it too. Oh, he's like learning in real time. Did Mob just level up? What the hell? Whoa, that was different. That wasn't your usual, like, explode the demon. That went deeper. You're gonna pay for 
But now he's got the power of plants on his side. <laughs> and he can do it even better. It must be so fun watching watching Mob like that as his mentor. I thought I'd try some home gardening. And if it works, it'll help save a chunk of change on groceries. I don't think you need to worry about groceries with your 30% cut of that huge yield. And hummus, you know, that's essential in this. payment for the last job. Broccoli seeds. <laughs> now I'm not even getting money. Ah, but if you, t if you plant these seeds... <laughs> And sell the bro broccoli, okay. Wow, 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 holy crap! <laughs> I sense a new business venture. I mean, the man loves his vegetables. You can take these tomatoes home with you. Oh, mommy 0%, that's unfortunate. Yes, new opening! Oh, I, I love the first one so much. This one's proving to be just as colorful at, wow, wow. Color explosion. This already feels like the cousin of the first opening, which I like. I like the consistency. All right, mom might be dealing with some frustration. Oof, I don't know. Satisfaction is a deep hole to fill. <laughs> this is really speaking to me right now. <laughs> hey, there are boys. The Body Improvement Club. I was really taking it to the next level. Controlling plants, removing his facial appendages. Cry on my life, cry on my psyche. Oh no, it's a dark turn. <laughs> some familiar villain faces, some familiar hero faces. Yeah, we've like accidentally, right out of nowhere, developed a really awesome crew. Time to wake up our psyche. Mobs awakening? We continue to transition into adulthood. Although he's already our little adult. Our little adult mob. Several men have stepped forward and claimed to be our missing leader. But all of them were just fakes. If you remember, I was the This one organization is still going. They're hunting for mob. He is going to become a religious leader. It's inevitable. And by leads, I mean he's actually been someone I've known this whole time. Right, she's working multiple angles here. And making Mob a religious icon before he even knows what hit him. She's cultivating this? These middle school students are really precocious. <laughs> like I said, when I was in middle school, I was playing Pokemon. Grow up and be more confident. These kids are out here forming attack groups against evil shadow organizations and creating religious movements and working on their bods. The intro asked them, what do you want to be? And they answered, Collectively, excellent. There was some kind of activity or responsibility that would help him mature. He is gonna mature, but it's weird to like want someone to mature for your own selfish interests. I don't think that's how that's gonna go. This is my way of taking responsibility for my poor leadership. I spread false Respect. About innocent students I had a good night's sleep for once, and it allowed me to reflect on my misdeeds. This is just the kind of thing that could help mob, mob as class president. Oh, she nailed it. Not really. That is the key. Looks like you've really got a thing for her, don't you? She keeps boy. catching him. <laughs> How did you know? Duh. <laughs> I'm a little surprised that you'd fall for the exact same girl that everybody else in the entire school is into. Why is that a surprise? She's been my friend since we were little kids. So, she's really that popular, huh? She also, you know, just as a side note, is hot as hell. <laughs> no chance with a girl like her given your current status as a nobody lucky you now you this is some evil genius right here that. what are you talking about you got his attention right now you're not worthy to even stand next to her thanks it might be just the thing to get you closer to the girl that everyone wants. i like how he aged up and grew this is your one and only chance to make a girl like you mob don't do it mob i've been down this road i know how it ends <laughs> uh. like never before Thank you for the hardcore training montage text, in case it wasn't clear. Ooh. He gets a lot of points for hair. Give him that. Oh, he's running again. That's kind of cool. Fresh slate. He could just disappear, but he took responsibility and then is looking to get back to where he was. Why crawl away and hide? Run for president again. Yeah, that's awesome. I love it. Hell yeah. yeah! I'll do better this time. There you go. I mean, points for honesty and dedication, right? What is he doing up there? <laughs> is that mob? Hey, it's working already. Yeah, and he's got support from the bros. White tea poison's gonna take over the whole school. What a badass! <laughs> I'm very nervous for him.
<laughs> These people are me. They're all me. It's over. He's building it's suspense. The time in history that a candidate spent the entirety of his Wait for it. He's... Minutes, no, he's building suspense. A single word. Five minutes, huh? It's a lot of suspense. It's too much suspense. Huh. Last place. Is it Tsubomi? Is this what I think it is? No, this is Mob, how many times are you gonna be fooled by these notes? To stand up there when you obviously didn't want to. When I saw you doing that, I really fell for you. It's not Tsubomi, but have any interest I mean hey. <laughs> oh! Oh hey! Look at this! No more rock scissors or papers, huh? Does that mean I ended on a loss? That's that sucks. Oh well. Walk home with me? Oh well uh, my club is oh. Yeah, I was waiting for him to shove him. I knew he was gonna do that. Train by ourselves today. That is a bro. What do you do in your spare time, Kageyama? Open your heart, Kageyama. I train and run and do Open your heart to love. Improvement club, and I help this guy I know with his work. He's got a pretty cool life, you know? You saying you work at some kind of specialty bookstore? Yes, that's yes, a very special, very special bookstore. I'd love to work at a place like that someday. Oh, she's sweet. If I just lied to her. Yeah, it wasn't but great. She'd be creeped out if I told her I was a part-time exorcist. Nah, that's not the road you want to start down. I guess I could tell you, Kageyama. Oh no, she can open her heart to him? In my spare time, I write novels and stuff. Oh my god, she's vulnerable. It's great, really. I just couldn't come You gotta nip this in the bud right now. You gotta start telling the truth immediately. You don't mess around with people like this. You don't abuse honesty with lies. It's the worst. I'd love to read them. After that, Damn, Mom! Emmy home Hell yeah. Every day. Forget Sue, Sue, whatever her name is. You pumped for the exorcism? Chipper and pumped, huh? Guess He's got a crush. <laughs> Who am I kidding? Cutting right to the bone. Oh, oh. I'm so excited for this romance. It just fills just about finished. my it heart. Okay? She's so. At least I think so. You know a lot of words, <sighs> don't you? If you don't understand it, then just say so. Oh no, no. Welcome to Relationships Mob! <laughs> it's all downhill from here. Yes, nothing says new love like innocuous comments taken totally out of context and leading to arguments. I remember my first relationship and all of the ones after it. <laughs> it's so easy to get this wrong. I will probably get this wrong till the day that I die, but the moment people are vulnerable with you, it's the most critical moment not to be careless with what you say. Like, it has to be affirming, you know? One of the challenges for me is recognizing when something is a logical moment and when something is an emotional moment. Because, like, I immediately go to analyze things. But I've learned through a lot of pain <laughs> That that's not what people are looking for a lot of the time. What they're looking for is validation. You know, a sign that you care about them and support them and can be there for them emotionally. Why are you still walking home with me after you turned me down? Oh, he turned her down? Is it sympathy? Oh no, is that what this is? Now that I'm thinking about it, I don't know how you really feel at all. Ah, uh, so the book thing wasn't really the book thing. You don't actually have any feelings. Oh, oh no! You only ran for president because someone else told you to, right? Eesh. The only reason I asked you out is because I lost a bet. My friends Oh like no! Play rock, paper, scissors, and I lost. I'm heartbroken. Well, I know a thing or two about losing rock, paper, scissors, though, so I can sympathize on that level. Damn you, I wanted to believe I had all these good things to say about you. I will love anyone who loves Mob. That's what I realized from this episode. But I will crush and destroy anyone who hurts my, my precious boy. I mean, her criticisms are not totally baseless, right? Like, he did sign up for the student council thing because he was asked to do so. He is sort of suggestible, but that's not him having no opinion. It's not him having no thoughts of his own. I think it's more like Mob just having a lot of faith in the people around him. I mean, you could tell a lot about who someone is is by how they see other people in a lot of cases. Like, Mob is just a good kid, and so he sort of takes as default the goodness of others and believes that what they have to say is valuable and that their advice is valuable, and so he allows himself to be placed in the hands of people who are around him. And this might be going a little bit too far, but I think that actually matches really well with this idea of, like, humility and not trying to gain false status or posture over other people. In the sense that I think people who heavily rely on those schemas of thinking are generally more reluctant to take advice or to do anything that people tell them to do. Sort of like a who are you kind of thing. But Mob sort of isn't above anyone or anything until he feels like something that is happening is wrong. And in that case, he actually has very defined opinions and is strong and has a pretty rock solid backbone, it seems. What's sort of weird about this situation though, is that like, even though this turns out to be somewhat of a scam relationship, it does seem like he's really enjoying her company. It does seem like he's really happy to be with her. It's not totally nothing. And I'm sure that's mutual. It's been long enough by now though. So I figured I had to tell you the truth. And I was getting a mob's case for not telling the truth. Yeah. But I feel like at this time a relationship may have formed anyway, like despite her intentions. You don't spend a week with someone great and not, you know, develop something. You don't spend a week with anyone and not develop something, typically. 
Yeah, there you go. We bonded over orange juice and books. You write novels? That's so lame. <laughs> Let me read it. That's true. This is a society that prioritizes joining gangs in middle school. Now you're getting litter everywhere. No, it's all right. Rip it. Shred it up into tiny pieces. Just like my heart. Stop it. Yeah, this is mom having no opinions, right? Having no thoughts of his own. Look, she's not your girlfriend, doofus. She worked hard to write that novel. It's mean to rip it up. Huh? The way he just like, I don't know. He's just so great, man. <laughs> I don't even have words. <laughs> he's not thinking about himself. He's thinking about her interest in her novels. Can you reassemble it with psychic powers? It would be even more sweet if he does it by hand. I do have feelings. When I listen, they remind me. What's important Aww. in my heart. Oh no. <laughs> Emmy. Emmy. Fine. Go on without me. Good choice, Emmy. Great job. See you around. Bye. Get out of here, doofuses. Go join a gang or something. Hang out in an alleyway. Far away. Aww. What are we even doing? Something of high symbolic value. <laughs> I can just write another one. Hmm? It probably wasn't that good anyway. <laughs> Okay, he was doing that manually, you know, I guess for a fact. It would be too easy. Yeah, there you go. I'm a psychic. Right, I didn't want to reveal his powers. Nice one, Mom. Oh? Oh, she's noticing. Everyone is dreaming. Ripped apart. Someone is watching. I don't know which one of those subtitles was the episode title. <laughs> Not that kind of girl. My powers wouldn't change things. Honestly? It wasn't the powers that would make her fall in love in that scenario. That was unbelievable. Yeah, it was unbelievable. He's like Loki, the strongest person. You're so amazing. There you go. I mean, a middle school kid all is forgiven. Powers. We all make mistakes. The important thing is that we treat mob well. <laughs> Lifted weights, the best way to answer everything. Yes, indeed. Wow, what a way to start season season two. No explosive enemies. No like insane powers. No level one hundred ness. Just some amazing slice of lifeness. I could do this. I could do a lot more of this. Why do I love this boy so much? <laughs> He's just the greatest kid. <laughs> I don't know. I think people confuse kindness for weakness. It's not like there's nothing to that. A lot of good qualities are things that in a way make life more difficult. I was talking in another video about how like Kingdom Hearts being all light is actually sort of a, a devastating thing at first because to be really good means to have to take on a lot of complicated stuff and take on a lot of nuance, nuanced stuff and look really hard at who you are and yourself and be cautious and not be hateful, not be spiteful, not be bitter, not to put people in categories that rob them of their humanity in order to feel better about our own lives and standings, not to artificially hype ourselves up on things that are not really what's important. And a lot of times what that results in initially, I think, is hesitancy and uncertainty about one's behavior and one's utility and one's value. You know, it's like by going for something bigger, you keep your mind fluid enough to form it as something really artful and masterful, but in the meantime, it's easy to suffer from that lack of shape. And I think that's largely Mob's struggle, but then what's really cool about that is that to the observer, it's not bad at all, it's great. Like, obviously he's amazing and he's gonna be amazing and his ability to struggle through those things are hopefully, if he like goes all the way, if he doesn't get stuck at one point and like crash and burn out, are gonna make him like the ultimate. There is definitely a payoff at the other side, but it's all new territory for him as this little kid, you know? He needs time to explore the space and get comfortable and get so rock solid in that that it doesn't lead to hesitancy, it's the opposite. And he's already there in large measure, right? Like he did not hesitate at all to defend Emmy against the gang of book ripping doofuses. And he's only gonna continue that path and get better and stronger and have a lot more girlfriends.